Why the Apple Car Will Disrupt the World. Welcome to TechBank, and in today's video, we will talk about why the new Apple Car will disrupt the world. So we will be looking at the implications of Apple breaking into the automobile industry, which as far as industries go, is one of the hardest to navigate. So let's get to the video. In 2007, Apple took the whole world by surprise when Steve Jobs went on stage to announce the launching of Apple's iPhone and iPad. And we are calling it iPhone. Both of which went on to be a massive success that put Apple as one of the top greatest tech companies to ever grace the industry. Talks of Apple having a car in the works surfaced in 2014 and only escalated even more the following year, 2015. However, the car industry is not the easiest of industries to break into and stay afloat. Elon Musk, CEO of one of the biggest electric car companies in the world, has mentioned that starting a car company is harder than launching a rocket and having done both, it would be foolhardy not to take the billionaire's word for it. There is still scanty news on the specifics of the Apple car. However, Tim Cook in a shareholders meeting that took place in 2016 confirmed that there is an Apple car on its way and that the news of the Apple car is to be like Christmas Eve where you know there is something good waiting for you but you have no idea what it could be. The CEO of Apple gave the impression that it would be this way for a while with the new Apple car. One can easily see why Apple would want to enter the world of car making. Tesla has proven that with enough innovation to a rigid industry, you can easily be at the top of said industry. That said, it is easy to see why Apple would want to come into the car making industry. The industry for automobile production is worth about $10 trillion, which beats the smartphone industry, worth only $715 billion by a significant gap. Reports have indicated that Apple is considering the year 2024 as the year it starts production of an Apple car. This idea is not a new one though. In 2008, Apple considered entering the car industry, but things looked grim for the industry at that time. With big car companies like Ford and Chrysler faced difficulties in the industry, and it was probably not a good idea to start one at such period. Also, 2008 is the year that Apple set out to redefine the world of mobile phones. So the tech giant's plate was full then to attempt such. In 2015, it was discovered that Apple already has hundreds of workers working on a secret project dubbed Project Titan. The phone making company seems to have made a few business decisions to strengthen its tie with the car making industry. In 2016, the company gave about a billion dollars to a Chinese company, Didi Churning, which has served to form a stronger connection with the car making and autonomous driving industry. Interestingly, Apple has converted people from companies like NASA and even Tesla with special skill sets integral to work on Project Titan. Despite this, there is still nothing specific on the upcoming Apple car. There has even been recent speculation that Apple was working in conjunction with Honda Kai to make a vehicle with self-driving capabilities. However, the Korean car maker came out to say that they are not in talks with the gadget making company to make any kind of car. Regardless of this, it is obvious from the few reports gotten on the car that Apple wants to bring its unique car design in the form of an electric vehicle with full self-driving and better battery. If a company as innovative as Apple takes to the car making, we might yet see an innovative show of a car that will put all other car making companies on their toes. While there is little news on the specifics of the car, we have seen that one is most likely in the works. However, breaking into an exclusive industry like the automobile manufacturing industry will come with its problems and challenges. How well Apple can overcome these challenges will determine how well it can thrive in the auto industry. The auto industry is a cutthroat industry that does not favor newcomers very well. Since Hyundai's entrance to the car making market in the 1960s, the only other mass producing car company to emerge has been the electric car company Tesla. And even Tesla did not have it easy as it took the giant autonomous car making company 17 years to turn a profit. This is because of the difficult and expensive need to build the factories and infrastructure where the batteries and car would be manufactured. It is no doubt difficult to finance the construction of a car making factory. At the moment, few companies can pull off such a feat and Apple is one of them. The sales of iPhones and iPads, as well as other Apple services, have shot Apple revenue to over $100 million for the first time in the tech giant's history. 
They have all it takes to survive starting up in the electric car industry. They possess the capital, the reputation of Apple as a brand, and safety nets in place if the venture turns out sour. Things seem to be in Apple's advantage if they want to go through with their desire to become an electric car manufacturer. First, they do not have the car making experience their competition has. Although this problem can be addressed if Apple can secure the right kind of partnerships with companies that specialize in the nitty gritty of car production. Interestingly, Apple's main assembler, Foxconn, is now heavily into the car manufacturing industry. The Taiwanese manufacturer has teamed up with Zhejiang Geely Holding Group to manufacture cars on a global scale. Another problem the phone manufacturer will face if they want to go into electric car production is with the full self-driving system. This technology is hard to develop and Apple might not have the necessary experience to know how to fine tune its artificial intelligence to efficiently handle self-driving. Lastly, one of the most worrying issues with Apple making an electric car is how much the company will be willing to sell the cars they produce. Apple has a reputation for producing the most expensive gadgets. Their phones are already averaging thousands of dollars, and their laptops are mostly more expensive than similar laptops in their performance and weight class, which begs the question of just how expensive an electric car manufactured by Apple would be. Would it be less expensive than other electric vehicles out there? or more expensive. Precedent supports the latter, but it's anyone's guess and perhaps worry. That's it for the video, guys. What are the ways that you think the Apple car will disrupt this world? Do you think that they will sell their cars to be more expensive than the competition? Or do you have any other views on the topic? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like and share this video with your friends. And please subscribe to the channel. And while you're there, hit that notification button to keep up to date on new content like this. See you in the next video.